are doing really well so today's video is going to be a valentine's day makeup tutorial which looks like this it's a very soft very feminine very elegant makeup look that you could wear any time of the year and i have filmed a makeup tutorial after so so long and was really fun filming in this new space if you want me to do any other valentine look with any other color combination then definitely do let me know in the comments down below i'll try my best to do it before the 14th of feb so if you want to know how i got this really easy to create and fresh face look then please keep on watching so i'm starting off with the eyes first and i'm just going to prime my eyelids using any concealer so for my eyes today i'm planning to use this bh cosmetics uh, blush neutrals eyeshadow and blush palette which i showed you all in my bh cosmetics haul video so i'm not really sure what makeup i'm gonna go for so i'm just gonna play with some of the shades and let's see what i come up with so for the crease i'm going to pick up these two shades right here they look a little more on the shimmer side so i'm not really sure how it's going to turn out but i'm going to pick up these two shades uh, on my zoeva luxe crease brush shadows are pretty pigmented so i'm really liking it and then on the same blending brush i'm gonna pick up this shade right here which is like a bright pink and this like a deep purple kind of shade on the same brush again tap up the excess and work that again in my crease then taking a clean blending brush i'm just going to blend out the edges so that there is no harsh line then taking any lighter concealer i'm just going to carve out the shape so i apply the concealer so that the eyeshadow that i apply on my lid pops up really well so i'm going to pick up these two shades right here on a flat eyeshadow brush blush shade right here and work that in my outer V just to add a little more depth to the whole look so I'm pretty happy with the way the eyeshadow is looking and I'm just going to do a winged liner I'm going to use my Inglot 77 gel liner and my Zoeva wing liner brush so I'm going to use these two to do my wing and probably I'm going to do that off camera because I need to get real close to my mirror so since the time I've come to USA my skin has got really really dry in this harsh winter so I'm going to use this Embryolus uh, moisturizer to moisturize and hydrate my face and this stuff is really really good it's really very moisturizing really very hydrating and your base looks really good good once you use this under makeup so that's why i really like using this so to correct my under eyes i'm going to use the la girl pro conceal orange corrector i like this in this time of the year because uh, in winter my under eye area gets really really dry for my foundation today i'm going to use the clinic super balanced makeup i love this foundation this foundation works well during any time of the year if it's summer or winter your skin is going to look good all the time and it lasts for a really long time like your makeup looks good all day long and it doesn't feel heavy at all and it just looks beautiful on the skin for my concealer today i'm going to use the nyx gotcha cover concealer this is a full coverage concealer which i recently discovered like i recently started using this and this is seriously full coverage and it's really really good and it works really well for me and and it's really thick and creamy so you have to kind of warm it up on the back of your hand before you go ahead and apply it like and you don't need a lot so that's really nice so I've just taken a little bit and I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand I'm taking my damp YBP makeup perfecter sponge I'm just going to 
blend this. To set my under eye, I'm going to use the NYX HD uh, finishing powder in the shade Translucent. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my SD Laura Double Wear uh, Powder Makeup in the shade Ivory Beige, which looks like this. contour my face I'm just going to bronze it up and I'm going to use these two for that this is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade bronze and this is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Medium to Dark I'm going to use the same BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It looks really pigmented so I'm going to use a very light hand with it. So moving on to the eyes again, I'm going to pick up these two shades that I used on my crease first. This one and this one right here and then work that on my lower lash line. Then again, I'm going to pick up that bright pink and a deep like purple shade, berry shade and just work that again in my lower lash line. Then lastly, I'm going to pick up these two shades that I applied on my lid and apply that very close to the inner corner of my eye. For my waterline, I'm going to use the Bharat and Doris Smoky Coal Pencil. I love this pencil. I think I have mentioned this in my makeup uh, best of makeup of 2016 video for mascara i'm going to use this clinic high impact mascara which comes with a, a lash building primer this one is the primer and this one is the actual mascara so i'm going to use that today Highlight my face, I'm going to use the pack Pure Pigment Eyeshadow number 05, which again I have mentioned in my uh, best of 2016 makeup uh, like favorites video. So finally, moving on to the lips. To line my lips, I'm going to use this new Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Magnetic Mauve. This is a new launch in USA. I don't really know if it has come in India and even if it does, I think it might take some time. But these liners are really really nice. For lipstick today, I'm going to use the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade Precious which looks like this. It's a really nice pink shade and I'm like all pink 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 today. I'm all done with the makeup and it's time to just set this face and for that I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I have never really used this. This is new for me and I hope it does well. I'm just going to cover up my eyes so I don't want the eyeliner to come off if in case it does that. So I'm just going to let my hair down and go with this kind of a movement. I like doing this because I feel it just makes it look the way I want it to look like. And I really enjoyed the setting spray. It doesn't really smell good though but the finish was really nice. Also I do really enjoy the Milani lipstick. It's the first time that I tried it on. I think it's really nice. So yeah, that's the final look guys. I really like this look. I think this is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's so feminine, it's so beautiful, elegant and it's so pinky pinky. I really like the whole uh, pink on my face today. But yes, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you all did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll meet you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.